See, I like my woman with WAP. If she's ignorant, she must be confident. If she's knowledgeable, she must be unreasonable. It's one or the other. But one thing she must never do is run out of Pangea Feminine Wash. We all know that a fresh yoni brings on a whole new level of confidence. So visit EmbracePangea.com. And of course, I got my winos covered for a discount. So use the coupon code Tasha K for 10% off your first order. Why the hell so many people are trying to tell me to slow down? Seems like motherfuckers should be shutting the hell up and enjoying the show. technical difficulties some shit was going on i don't even remember okay now um lisa ray because we're going to talk about lisa ray later in the show too this is the main subject okay but i'm about to warm you up to this heifer okay y'all see me change the title last minute lisa ray has the audacity to say that she heard from a man that she's supposedly sleeping with or slept with he ain't claimed her I ain't never seen no man claim Lisa Ray. Name one. Name one man that has claimed Lisa Ray. I mean, she pretty too. She got the body, it's natural. You know, girl trying to buy what she got. She got the face. She got that deep voice. She seems kind of intelligent, but tell me one man that has been on the internet talking about they in love with Lisa Ray. They love her. Oh my God. Love of my life besides the one that she paid for in that show that she got that ring from. Name one, please. Da, 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 da. Not one, okay? Now I understand a woman that can't keep a man knows another woman that can't keep a man, okay? So she probably felt justified coming after Halle Berry and speaking on Halle Berry's cat, okay? Speaking of Halle Berry's cat, before I'm, uh, uh, I, I move more into this uh, situation between Lisa Ray and, and Halle Berry, Halle Berry, I don't know who your PR is, okay? But listen. I don't ever want to have the image of an 11-year-old girl with herself on anybody's uh, uh, website, video, or nothing, okay? If you don't know, and I'm not going to say this in the video, Halle Berry thought it was cute to sit there and drink wine and tell us when was the first time at 11 years old when she got down. I don't care. Why would I want that image in my head? Who is, I'm telling who is these people's PRs? I don't understand. And when it comes to Halle Berry, we only want to see we only want to see her on her acting screen. That is the only place we want to see her. We don't want to envision her relationships. They're already toxic, okay? And we definitely don't want to envision her sex life, especially when it's borderline, giving us pedophilic vibes. I don't want that shit, okay? So Halle Berry, you can keep that, okay? Because really, just like Lisa Ray said, nobody wants it. And we don't damn sure want it, especially dating back to when you was 11 years old. Save that shit. I don't know who is talking to these people. I don't understand. You see, this is another example of your personal life diminishing your star power, okay? Because we can't get past certain shit. Now, for one, can't keep no man, okay? And all the men that have dated her have been borderline. Uh, Lisa Ray coming at another woman. I'm like, girl, where's your man? How is it that you can sit your ass up on the internet, Okay. Damn, I should have saved this for the last because I could have walked right into the, to the big one, okay? But we're going to save that one involving Lisa Ray and her sister Debray. But how is it that you can sit your unsuccessful, unrelationship having ass up on the internet to talk about another woman's cat, okay? I'm like, and out of all the people, you come at Halle Berry as if she ain't got another man out, enough men out here dogging her. Like, where in the hell do they do that at? I don't know. And listen, that new show that she's doing with Ayana and her mama, Lisa Ray is every bit of piece of her damn mammy. Okay, what you saw her saying or talking about when it came to Halle Berry, I mean, you would think that Lisa Ray, she's beautiful, she has a great career, well, used to have a great career, I, I guess it was just one movie, <laughs> one movie, one show, <laughs> that's it, one, two one movie, two shows, that's <laughs> it, okay, um, and now she's mad, we'll talk about that later though, she's mad because her other buddy train is gone. Um, I'm just, I'm just trying to understand how is it that you have everything? You're beautiful. You got stuff going for you. Okay. You're 50 looking like you every bit of 30. Why are you talking about somebody else's cat and not worried about who is trying to smash yours? Okay. And not trying to brag about on the internet. I'm done. I cannot with these old women. Let me lead you to the flag in the United States of America. I'm sorry. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. He lied. Oh, Tiana Taylor. Okay, okay. Fat Monkey Tiana Taylor back in the building tonight for this show. 
Okay? Yeah, she got a big monkey, okay? Like my auntie would tell she got a fat cock. Cocks it up like just, just to, like, you ever seen them women that cock just sit just like, just like that in the panties and stuff like that? I'm like, that girl needs to stop wearing her panties because I'm going to start questioning her what she really is because that thing is big down there, okay? Um, she announced that she's retiring. She Nobody said, cares. <laughs> She says she is retiring and she is underappreciated, okay? Now, listen, uh, you know, I'm going to stab this in research. And Tiana Taylor is a spoiled-ass entitled brat, okay? Now, personally, I think she focused more on her sexuality, using her music to come out and talk about her sexuality versus actually giving us some good music. Now, word on the street is Tiana Taylor was never born to sing, okay? Her mom had some strong connections in the music industry, and because she was, I guess she was the only child. Don't get me to lie. I don't know that to be a fact, but I do know Tiana Taylor is a spoiled, entitled ass brat, okay, when she doesn't get her way, when she doesn't get Grammys, that she damn sure don't fucking deserve, child, let me stop, look, <laughs> let me stop, okay, um, her mom, because she wanted to be a singer, well, she originally, I guess, wanted to rap, and then she was like, nah, I can have a long-standing career if I sing, and so her mom actually hired her a vocal coach to teach her how to sing, not improve her singing, teach her how to sing. And that's why she sound like a scratching record right now. So I'm just like, who is this on this record? Now, this is auto tune to the fullest. All right, Travis Scott. Mm, mm. And so I'm just here to tell you, we don't give a damn whether or not you're retiring, okay? And now let me tell you something. To anybody that's aspiring to be a singer, look at this woman. Look at her, okay? This is what not to do. This is what you shouldn't do. You shouldn't put your personal life before your craft, before your art, because then people will start to see your personal life and they'll judge your art based on that, okay? We have a lot of artists that are out there doing it now. Tony Braxton, Tamar Braxton, K. Michelle, okay? The list goes on. It actually devalues their star power because they feel that if I sell some drama, I'll be able to sell some records. And literally, listen, Keisha Cole is a really another good example because let me tell you, Keisha Cole is always talking about she's heartbroken. Oh, I'm in love. I'm heartbroken. He done done me wrong. He done cheated. I should have cheated. I should have cheated. Love. I mean, just all types of shit of what she wished she could have done with children. Now, when I listen to Keisha Cole's music, I can't really get into it because I know she's really talking about, she's really talking about a 19-year-old, an 18-year-old breaking her heart. I can't do it. I'm a grown woman. I actually uh, uh, relate to grown women's shit, okay? And I just don't relate to what Keisha Cole is going through because this is the second man that she's had a baby from that was damn near underage. I cannot do this. So listen, what not to do, Keisha Cole and Tiana Taylor. Ashanti has done a very good job keeping her personal life out of the public, okay? And that's why she is still out here doing tours and not applying. Let me shut up because I was going to go there, okay? Moving on, Tiana Taylor, we don't give a shit, okay? Uh -huh. I don't want to roast her. She ain't commentary no more. This one, now listen, y'all. Do y'all remember? Y'all better get y'all wine glass for this now. Because I told y'all. I told y'all that this man here, where he at, is an opportunist. He is an opportunist, okay? His head is the letter O, okay? Look, it's shaped like the letter O, and it stands for opportunist, okay? Now, he done never married a black woman. He done, get, he done been engaged to black women. He done made them wait 10 years, okay? He's, I ain't ready yet, you know what I'm saying? I got to get on. You know, I got to get stable. You know, you know, Y'all know the talk they give you, you know what I'm saying? I love you, I gave you the ring, just give me some time. I got to work some things out, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to own Atlanta, and literally he owns like four or five steakhouses, okay, that I ain't never heard of, so really he ain't, he ain't here for those steaks right here in Atlanta, because listen, if you got a good steak, we gonna all know about it, okay? Now, I'm a matter of fact, I'm gonna go down to the uh, restaurant that Jeezy's supposed to own, and I'm gonna eat some of that food, and I'm gonna let you know what that steak tastes like. It probably tastes like what Je how Jeannie cook. Now, listen. <laughs> now, listen. So, I told y'all that this man whose face and head is shaped like the letter O is an opportunist, okay? He needed someone to rebrand him. He needed someone to open the door for him. So, what better way than to get a desperate, dark meat-loving, okay, Asian, okay, who would do any 
thing because they have literally, and I'm talking about her. I'm not talking about all Asians. I'm talking about her, okay? Have the lowest of the lowest self-esteem because I don't understand how you let a good white man like that that's got good credit go, okay? And now you out here begging to get married again because word on the street is what Jesus, uh, Jesus said it, okay? He ain't getting married till 2025. He told her he, she had to wait. He had to get some things in order, which means she had to get some things in order, okay? He needed his talk show to take off. He needed his new uh, 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 commercial deals to take off. And she is the woman that's going to walk him through the door. Don't act like black men don't strategically get up with women that are outside of our race in order to get them a seat at the table. But once he gets to the table, okay, Jesus going to bring his man. Let me show you. Maybe he'll call Keisha Cole back and change her mind. Probably, he probably the reason that she don't even like uh, older men no more. He done tricked us so bad. But, yes, yeah, so the word is out. I told y'all that this was, a, a, I guess, a, a relationship of convenience. Okay, he out showing y'all they riding bicycles, okay? He's buying her watermelon in the picnic basket. You know what I'm saying? He gave her the biggest ring and literally couldn't even buy his baby mama a car because this is an investment. This is an opportunist, and an opportunist knows where to invest his money, and Jeannie Ma is that money, okay? Is that investment until 2025. Now, watch what I tell you. There will be no wedding, okay, at all. Okay, that's why he done postponed this seven years out. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, moving on. Congratulations to these two. Oh, and real quick, let me tell you what my let me tell you what Shaq did. My husband and Jasmine, you see this wine? Did y'all see this bottle full? They don't left me a swallow. Now, how the hell I'm supposed to get like lit for fuckery Friday if they drinking all my shit? <laughs>